Hi there, welcome to today's video. Today I'm showing you how you can use Silhouette Design Studio to cut Archer and Olive digital stickers. We're starting with a regular open screen and we're going to go grab our file. Today we are cutting the Radiant Raccoon file set. We're going to choose the PDF with the cut lines. This menu is going to ask you if you want to import it as a vector or import it as an image and we're going to import it as a vector. Once you import it, it is going to scale your paper size down to fit the size of the PDF file, but we can adjust that. We're going to go to page setup and I'm going to change this to my sticker sheet width, which is eight by five, 8.5 by 11 inches. And there we have our sticker sheet and our illustrated sticker file on top. From here, we're going to add our registration marks. You're going to go to this third menu option and there you're going to find your registration marks and you're going to turn them on. If your registration marks look a little bit different than mine, don't worry, just make sure that your image is fitting in between the registration marks. Okay, so if we were to go ahead and cut this right now, you're going to see that the logo is going to be cut as well and that's not what I want. So we're gonna go in and we're going to select ungroup and that's going to create all these little individual pieces from here, we're going to try and highlight the Archer and Olive. Now, if you were to go and try and deselect, there are so many items that have been selected and because of how it's imported, it's really difficult to find out exactly which image is causing the issues. So what I do is I try and click on the letters and whatever gets highlighted, I just send it to the back until I'm eventually able to just highlight the logo. Okay, then we're going to go to our send menu and we're going to select no cut over here in the menu and that'll get rid of that cut. And then we're going to do the same with the web address at the bottom. Okay, so that is looking good. Now you can send this to your printer and you're good to go. If however you want it to look more like an actual sticker sheet, an option is to go in and we're going to select this outer line. We're going to go to our line style menu and we're going to make this line a different color. So I'm just going to pick blue. Okay, so we changed our outer cut line to blue. But what I want to do is if we print these cut lines, they're going to turn green and I don't want the green cut lines to show up on my sticker. The cutting machines are pretty accurate, but you might still have some green show through and that is not what I want. So we're going to change these cut lines to white. And you can tell that you have a cut line because the color on the side here is showing green and then you can just change it to white. If you're clicking an image instead of a cut line, so for example here it shows white, you can just send this to the back and then go back in and click the cut line. That all looks good. So then we can head to the cut menu and there it's registering where it's going to cut those cut lines. So for my sticker paper, I want it to cut a little bit deeper. So let's increase the blade depth and the force just a little bit. And then for my sticker paper, I want to decrease the force. I don't want it to cut all the way through. Okay, so let's go back, send this to our printer and we will get going. So when it comes to the quality, I like to select best and print. Once our sticker sheet is printed, as you can see, there are no green cut lines around the edges. We can add this to our cut sheet. And we're going to pop this into our cutting machine. Now we're going to gently remove the sticker sheet from the mat. Okay, so I did forget to cut the border of the sticker sheet out, so we're just going to do that manually quickly. And there we 
we go. You have your Archery and Olive digital stickers printed and ready for you to use. Just like that. <laughs> and there you have the convenience of printing and cutting your own digital stickers. As you can see, you're able to print it on any sticker material that you have or would like to use. And you can even change the sizing of the stickers. You can make them smaller. If you make them bigger, they are gonna pixelate. You can definitely make them smaller and use it throughout your monthly planning. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. Otherwise, have fun making your own digital stickers.